Where are you going? But this is the Savoy Grand, no? Yes, I know, but let's go around the back and surprise them. In here? Sure. Where do you expect to find the head waiter in the bridal suite? Come on. I beg your pardon. Thanks. It is Mediterranean. One dollar and twenty-five cents. I beg your pardon, sir. Blank steak, peas, olive cream, five dollars and ninety-five cents. That's an outrage. I beg your pardon. Oh, I'm looking for Mike Lebedevich. He's a captain. Here. I'm sorry, Lebedevich is uh, two parfait Louis sixteen, two dollars and eight cents. He's in the dining room. You'll have to wait. Chicken a la king salad and orange, four dollars and eight very important, sir. Would you mind sitting down a moment, please? Salad oh, rouge, Thank you. Three dollars and forty cents. Oh, yes, sir. What's the idea? In a salad chiffon for Mrs. Britton, the garlic must be just Gloria. I don't believe it. Oh, it's not you. <laughs> oh, but it is you, and you look so good. I thought you were back at Rice and Weber's. I was a busboy then. But when glorious Gloria used to come in after the follies, who, who, I ask you, cooked her eggs and bacon? I won't And know. I'll tell you who it was. It was me, Mike the busboy. Is this your daughter? Oh, no, this is my friend, Mr. Cortillon. Oh, on it, on it. How do you do? How do you what do? Old it was Gloria Patterson and Light then. Mike, I'd like to talk to you when you're not so busy. Oh, I'm never too busy to talk to a pal. Thanks. Uh, this kid wants a job. Job? Yes, yeah, she's one of those rare people who really want to work for a living. Well, I can't put anybody on right now. This is the bad season, you know. Oh, yeah? What do you do in the good season? Hang them on the chandeliers? When it gets better, I can't put her on because I won't be here myself. I'm going to open my own restaurant. Oh, really? When? Soon. I found the place. But not the money, eh? I've got the 3000 to put on the line. All I need is a little money to renovate. Well, I'm sure you'll get it. Oh, as soon as I open, I'll put her on, okay. probably. Hey, Mike. Your wallet upstairs. Mr. Duncan just checked in. Room 1452. Okay. Uh, excuse me, please, but it was my best customer. You always want my personal service. I'll be right back. Sit and wait for me, huh? Excuse me. That's too bad. It could be so nice to work here. Mm -hmm. Look at those girls in there. That's where you belong, not in the kitchen. The way to a man's heart is through his eyes, baby. That's the modern version. He believes what he sees and takes bicarbonate of soda for his indigestion instead of a wife that can cook. Those women spend three billion dollars a year in beauty parlors and not for cookbooks. You're very hard to understand sometimes. Seventy percent of all the money in America is in the hands of women. You understand that, don't you? Yes, but... And if the boys don't look out, the girls will get the other thirty percent. Gee, kid, if I looked like you and knew what I know now, I'd be in there brushing caviar off a mink coat this minute. But you were very beautiful once. I saw the pictures. Oh, sure. I was a Lulu, but with the brains of a butterfly. And by the time I had sense, I looked like somebody's aunt. Oh, well, maybe I'd better do this very soon, no? Now you're talking, honey. All we need is some clothes, a decent place to live, where you'll meet the right kind of people, and some money, not very much. Three thousand dollars. I'm so sorry, but Mr. Duncan is such an important man. Mike. Please about the garlic. Mike, you need more money for your restaurant, don't you? Well, with another two thousand, I could have the most beautiful... You wouldn't want to go in on a deal, would you? I'd like to talk to you a little about it. You want to talk to me? Well, come right in. Come, can you imagine you and I being partners? I have a little place for you. 